Tom Bavli Gumara Brachlot, Perik Shishi, Chapter 6, Daf Mim Aleph, Mim Aleph Aleph, that's 41a, Chapter 6, page 41a. I'm just going to start from the last two words of the previous page. Ika da Amre, Bishlam Alaman da Amre, Tamre da Zika. There are those who say, all is well according to what he says, when blind dates. Hayinu da haka karelam avlot stama. That is why here it's called novelot without modification. But tam karela tamra, whereas there he calls it date palm novelot. Ela laman da ma bushle kama. But according to what he says, scorched by the sun. Nitne ide vi idi novelot tamra. Both should state date palm novelot. Iti, the iti novelot stama or both, are novelot without modification. Kashia, this is a difficulty. Hayulifanak minin harbe bechule, back in the Mishnah, there were there were before him many species. Amar Ula, Ula said, Machloket be beshe birkotehen shavot, the dispute. Uh, where the blessings for both species are the same, to Rabbi Yoda Savamin Shiva Adif, Rabbi Yoda holds that the species is, uh, which is one of seven, uh, one of the seven species, takes precedence. The Rabbanan Savre Min Chaviv Adif, whereas the rabbis hold the species favored takes precedence. Abal Besha'in Bilchatei and Shavu, but where their blessings are not the same, all agree that he recites a blessing in this one and then recites another blessing on the other one. Native they challenge Hayu the Fanotsanon Vezaid. They were before him already shown Ali, Navarech Al Hatsman Bufoteret Vezaid. He recites a blessing on the radish and discharges for the olive as well. Hachabamai askinan, with what are we dealing with here? Kishahatsanon ikar, with radish is the primary food, and obviously the olive is subordinate. I hachi ema sefa, if so, consider the latter part. Rabbi Yoda Omer, Rabbi Yoda says, Mevarechel hazait shazait, me min shiva, he recites the blessing on the olive, because the olive is from one of the seven species, one of the seven species. Lately, the Rabbi Yoda had to take it down to Rabbi Yoda on the whole that which we learned in the Mishnah. Whenever there is a primary food and a subordinate uh, uh, together uh, with it, one recites the blessing on the primary food and, uh, and discharges for the subordinate food. And if you suggest, it is so that um, uh, that that he does not hold like this. That Rabbi Yehuda does not hold like this. Scroll down. Tanya, it was taught in a brisa. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Im mechamat tzenon bahazait, because of the radish, the olive came, mevarechel ha tzenon ufotera tzenon, one recites the blessing on the radish, and discharges the olive together. Le'olam bitzoni kar askina, in truth, we're dealing with the radish as a primary food. Bechi plige Rabbi Yehuda over Rabbi Yehuda Milta, achrite plige, and when Rabbi Yehuda and the rabbis argue with regard to a different matter, they argue. Oh, so when they're arguing, it's they're arguing about a different matter. The chasure mechasra v'hachi katane, and the brasher is missing some words, and this is how it should read: Hayu lefanav tzanon v'zayit. If there were before him a radish and an olive, mevarechel hatzanon v'fotera tzayit. He recites a blessing on the radish and discharges, and, and discharges for the olive. 
talking about meds, I remember rim in what does this ruling apply? Because you have on your car when the radish is the primary food. A vowel in what's on your car, but the radish is not, uh, when the radish is not the primary food. Divrei hakol mevarech al zeh bechozem mevarech al zeh. All agree that he recites a blessing on this one, and then he recites another blessing on the other one. Ushnei minin ba'alma shibichotehen shabot ba'at. For two species in general, whose blessings are the same, uh, for example, olives and apples. Because the olive is of the same species. One says the dispute is where the blessing of both species are the same. The Rabbi Yodah Sava Min Shiva Hadith for Rabbi Yodah holds that the species uh, is that the um, one of the seven species uh, takes precedence. The Rabbi Nan Sava Min Hadith Hadith from Rabbi Yodah that the species favored by him takes precedence. About the Shekin Bichatehin Shabbat, but with the blessings are not the same. Give Ray Hakom of Rechalze, but Hosem of Rechalze, all three that are such a blessing on this one, and you such another blessing on the other one. The Kharama of the Shekin Bichatehin Shabbat, Nami Machlokhez, and one says the dispute, even, um, even where the blessings are not the same. So one of the Amoraim says that there's a dispute even uh, when the blessings are not the same. Bishlam Lamana de Amab Beshibeka Tehen Shabbat Nahmoket Shapir Omufa, according to one who says the dispute where the blessings are the same. Um, and that's well understood. Bela Lamana de Amash Beshain Bechazan Shabbat Kuke, but according to one who says that they disagree, even when the blessings are not the same, the Mikey gave, what do they disagree about? I'm a Rabbi Yumi, a Rabbi Yumi, a Sid, the Hakdin, to put first. So which one goes first? To Amma Rabbi Yosef, the Itenu Rabbi Yitzhak, Rabbi Yosef, and some say Rabbi Yitzhak say, call him Kdam, but Pasuk Zim Kdam Racha, whatever is first in the verse is first to a blessing. Shneem Eretz Chita U Sa'ara. So on a begin with the end of the rim on Eretz Zait Shemin Udvash. For it stated, a land of wheat and barley and barns and figs and pomegranates, a land of oil, olives and date honey. Um, the note, there's a note that says, uh, for example, if one wishes to eat raw wheat, where the blessing is hard enough, and figs, when the blessing is her eight, he would recite the Hadama on the wheat first, on the wheat first, because wheat is mentioned in the verse that we just said before figs. So, um, Rabbi Yosef makes the point of saying that uh, if you have all the seven species before you, then you go with, with whatever is first in, uh, in that verse. Which is from Deuteronomy 8 8. Scroll down. We'll play that to Rabbi Hanan, and it is in the spring of the Rabbi Hanan. Dama Rabbi Hanan, Rabbi Hanan is left cold, and so from the lower shield. And I think the time verse was set for, um, so that verse was set for measures. Um, that is, um, that is, that uh, each of the seven fruits is a unit of measure for a law. Chita, wheat, uh, Dislam, uh, is uh, 
teachers that we learned in the Mishnah, and if Nasabait Aminuga, if one enters a Tsaras afflicted house, the Khailan Al Tifav Besandala, the Tibutal, he had to have his garments on his shoulders and his shoes and rings in his hands, meaning he's carrying them rather than wearing them, who the hands may me out of here and they become tummy immediately. That is, both he and all the garments become tummy immediately. Uh, that is impure. Payala Rush Kilav, if he was wearing his garments, Sorry, if he was wearing his garments, for some of the rabbi of the temple tower, the etzbot tower, and he should wear his feet and drink wearing his fingers, who tell me when he had, he becomes to me immediately. The hand to hold him, and she, 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 but they, that is his garments and his shoes and dreams, but they remain to hold pure until he lingers. The amount of time it takes to eat half a loaf, Hat chitin velo hat seolim. Hat loaf of wheat bread rather than barley bread. And they say that the Ochlan, the Liftan, the Klan, the Eating, uh, wheat relish. So, um, therefore, uh, just to recap that chita, or the word uh, wheat, in the verse indicates that wheat bread is, used to be, is to be used in measuring the duration of time that a person must remain in the Tzalas of the Tzalas in order to contract the more severe Tuma, impurity, that extends to the clothes he is wearing. Seora, Bali, Kitam, we learned in Mishnah, Et and Keseora, a bone the size of a Bali Kimura, I tell you that the member of the man with a knife side imparts Tuma, through contact or through being carried, um, even if not touched directly. The aim of the time of the but it is not in part um, through a roof, meaning uh, if, it, if uh, you're under the, same, uh, under the same roof with it, it doesn't in part to Get them. Vines, today they be eat here in the Nazir. The amount of the they eat a wine for Nazir. Just to read on this. So, the Nazir is not allowed to eat um, or drink great products. In general, the punishable measure for forbidden foods is a kazayat, um, that is a volume, the volume of an olive, and forbidden beverages is a red meat. Um, a red meat is roughly the volume of one and a half things. With regard to great prohibitions for the Nazir, however, the punishable measure for both eating solids and drinking liquids is the red meat. Tena feeds Kigro Gerrit Lepit At Shabbat feeds. Uh, the size of a dried fig for carrying out on a Shabbos, meaning from carrying from one domain to another on Shabbos. Rimon, pomegranates. Um, Kedithnam, as we learned in Mishnah, Paul played Baalei Batim uh, for all home managed uten utensils that are punctured. So for all home owners utensils that are punctured, then we'll just go to the next page. So for all home owners in the Cochlade uh, Labour Team, all home owners utensils that are punctured, Sibiran Q Munin, the measure uh, when they lose their tuma, sorry, the measure is the size of pomegranates. Sibiran Q Munin, so when they lose their tuma, um, is when there is a hole in the size of a pomegranate. Eretz is a Shemin, a land of oil olives. I'm a Rabbi Yossi, the Rabbi Hamid, Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hamid, 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 a land whose every measure is the size of olives. Uh, that means 
means that um, whenever a law requires a minimum, a minimum size, the size is belonging of an old. Caution, Reha Salkantata, could you really think that it's every legal, every legal measure? The Haika Hanach Why there are those that we mentioned, uh, meaning there are those that we mentioned uh, about other fruits and not just to an olive. Ela, Eretz, Sherov, Shil, Reha, Kazetin, Lava, a land whose majority of measures of legal measures is the size of olives. Note on that. The consumption of an olive size of chalev, blood, nosar, pickle, and most other forbidden foods is the amount for which these offences are punishable. Also, an olive's bulk of flesh from a human corpse imparts tumor to a susceptible object by common presence under a root. Under a root. Also, if a person touches an olive sized piece of animal carcass, he contracts tumor from it. Dvash, date honey, kechotse, date hakasabi on kikorin, the size of a large date for eating on yom kikor. This is the minimum amount of food that you're liable if you eat it on yom kikor. The idach and the other one, meaning what would the other um, the other person respond? That would be Rav Yosef or Rav Yitzchak. Hanei shiurim behed yara yu kiteve Are these measures explicitly written? Ela mid rabbanan ukra asmachta the alma Rather these measures are by the rabbis and the verse is a mere support. Rav Chasta or Rav Hamuna havu yitzvei besudita Rav Chasta or Rav Hamuna Hamuna was sitting in the middle Aitu lakamei hu tamei rimune I grew up before them dates and pointed the next. Shakal Rav Hamnuna Berif Atmare Beresha Rav Hamnuna took him aside with lesson on the dates first. Amale Rav Chista Rav Chista said to him, Moser Alema Mahar Dama Rav Yosef Fiditema Rav Yitzhak did last in the point that which Rav Yosef and some say that some say Rav Yitzhak said, Kol Hamakdam Bepasyuk Zekodem Bebracha Whatever is first in this verse is first to a blessing. Hamale Rafim said to him, Zeshini Lima Eretz, Vezechim Shil Eretz. This is the second fruit after the land, while this is the fifth fruit after the word land in the verse. Hamale Rafim said to him, Man Yahid Lan Nigre to Farzala Unishma. Oh, that we would have feet of steel that we could attend to you. Meaning that he admired what he said. Just scroll down. Stated, have you all if named to any of Anna being betoch has silda? They brought before them figs or grapes during the meal. Amar Rav Huna, Rav Huna said, to unim be bracha if named be and to unim bracha lacharehem. The fruits require a blessing before them, but they do not require a blessing after them. The chen Amar Rav Nachman and so said Rav Nachman, to unim bracha if named be and to unim bracha lacharehem. They require a blessing before them, but they do not require a blessing after them. Rav Sheshet Amar Rav Sheshet says, Te unin bracha ben lefneim ben lacharim. They require a blessing both before and after them. Uh, just to recap, this is over figs and grapes. She'ein lecha devar she te un bracha lefana ve'ein te un bracha lacharav. For there is nothing that requires a blessing before it and does not require a blessing after it. Ela hat haba'a bech... Kisnin Bilbad, other than bread that comes with Kisnin alone. Um, the note for this Kit 
then is toasted grain. It says, um, so it's bread that's more like a, it's not, it's not like regular bread. After finishing the meal and reciting bread cutters on, it was customary to eat toasted grain for its healthful, uh, for its healthful effect on the heart. This grain would be served with pastries kneaded with spices, walnuts and almonds, and a little bit of the pastries would be eaten as well. Certainly mazonot must be recited before partaking of these pastries, um, and because you already said bekar mazon. But since they contain a lot of spices and nuts, and only a small amount of pastry is eaten, the rabbis did not institute that um, the ordinarily appropriate al blessing is recited. So these pastries are similar to Ores and Dochan bread, upon which one recites Mazonot beforehand, but nothing at all afterwards. So you don't say al afterwards, but you do recite Borin Fashot afterwards. Okay. de Ravichia and Ravichia disputes. Dama Ravichia, for Ravichia said, Pat poteret kol mine machal. Bread discharges for all types of food, all types of food, even fruits, uh, all types of food. Vayang poter kol mine mashkim. Wine discharges for all types of beverages. Amara papa. Rav Papa said, Hilchata, the halacha is, Dvarim habi mecha matcha seuda betocha seuda, food that comes as a result of the meal, during the meal, ain't it or nim bracha, lo lifneim velo la achrehem, do not require a blessing, neither before them nor after them. Just scroll down. And not as a result of the meal, um, and uh, so not as a result of the meal and during the meal, meaning foods that come, uh, foods that don't come as a result of the meal and they just come during the meal. blessing for them, but do not require a blessing after them. To see if there's an example. Uh, this is such as porridge, cabbage, and beets, which are not eaten with the bread itself, but are generally eaten during the meal for sustenance and to satisfy one's hunger. Laachar uh, hasoda, foods after the meal, to unibracha ben lifneim ben lachareim, require a blessing both before and after them. Sharu et ben zoma, they ask ben zoma. Mipnei ma'amro, for what did the sages say? Devarim haba'im mechamat ha'soda betol ha'soda, foods that come as a result of meal during the meal. Einam te'unim bracha lo lifneim velo lachrehim, do not require a blessing neither before them nor after them. Amalahim, Ben Zoma said back to them, Wa'il ufat potartim, because the blessing of the bread discharges them. But if so, bread should also discharge for wine. Shani Yain, Ben Zoma said, wine is different. Shani Yain, wine is different. 